Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Milligan. I'm here with Chris Powell from Silverstaff Clinical Laboratories, Director of Marketing and Education. Chris, thank you so much for being with us. No, thank you. I really, really appreciate it, Dr. Milligan. We're happy to be here. Great. How do we uh, discuss this with the patient? Um, I think with new patients especially, and, and you know, existing patients, right. there can be a form they fill out, part of their right. patient history. Right. And I think we've identified four important questions to ask. Um, are you diabetic? Mm -hmm. Do you smoke? Do you have a history of uh, cardiovascular disease mm -hmm. or a history of periodontal disease? Okay. And I think if you check yes to any of those, right. you are most definitely a candidate. Um, and I think by having that material available in uh, the waiting area, mm -hmm. um, it gets them thinking. Okay. And our goal is to have them start the conversation with the hygienist. What we've done with our result sheet is if you test quarterly, mm -hmm. um, you're going to be able to graph the outcomes. So if we test um, a patient quarterly, or, mm -hmm. or then we can actually see the graph. The of, patient of will be able to see not only their current results, but how they've changed. Right. Right. and hopefully improved, right. but they'll be able to track their progress. Uh, we'll know. Yes, and we think that's very important. Yeah, it's very important. And it's usually a couple days turnaround, and yeah. um, your staff can pull up the report. Super, and then we'll know the, the uh, results of our therapy. We'll know if we need continued therapy we'll, or, or maintenance, uh, if we need uh, an additional referral, or uh, where to go from there. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Super. Uh, anything else you'd like to tell us before we close and go do the, the, the demo? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm very excited to introduce this dry, uh, dry blood spot card. Um, it's going to be a, a good fit and I think it'll work well um, with the hygienist, um, the ease of use, and I'd, I'd love to show everyone a demonstration. We're going to go do that right now. Chris, thanks so much Thank for being you. with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. We're on. We're on. All right. Anytime. So, Dr. Milligan, I have a Heart Smart Screen kit opened up for everyone to see. Um, typically, in um, the, the hygienist area, you have a sink. Um, it's preferable to have the patient wash their hands under the warmest water possible or provide them with a warm towel. But there's another option since we're not by a sink. I'm going to open up these supplies, and if I can ask you to the old fashioned way, let's create some friction and get some warmth with your fingertips down. While you're doing that for a few seconds, I'm going to open up my supplies. Of course, hygienists are used to having their gloves on, and it's very important to keep your gloves on. There you go. Thank you. I think that's good. I'm going to take the alcohol prep. Um, it's good to go on either side of the pad of either the ring finger or the middle finger. Clean it with the alcohol prep. I'm going to let it air dry for just a second. Now the hand can be, you can hold it or you can have the patient lay it flat. I'm going to twist off the top of the lancet. The best way to create an opening is you're going to go against the grain of the fingerprint. So I'm going to hold the lancet against the grain, press till you hear a click. This initial blood drop, I'm going to wipe with a gauze. It's got fibrinogen in it. It's going to want to clot, so I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to allow the drops to freely hit the card. Uh, everyone ble bleeds a little differently. If you have trouble, you can milk the finger down the sides of the finger. You can see that was four drops. Easy enough. It is very easy. Anything it was very else? easy. No, sir, you were a very good patient. Oh, what <laughs>